What's up guys? Doing a Zippo review. And in a Zippo review, there's not a whole lot to say. So basically I'm just going to show you the lighter, talk about it a little bit. Um, tell you what I think about the finish. I mean, that's really the difference between most Zippos is the finish. Uh, occasionally you'll find that there's other little details that are worth noting. But today we're looking at this one. This is a real tree uh, pattern Zippo. Alright, this one, as a recent anyway, comes in the standard box. In Zippo, there's a lot of different types of uh, boxes that come in, but this is most models come in this standard cardboard box now. So you can see the real tree logo on the top. So it is actual real tree uh, camo, and the original price tag on there on the Zippo is $28.95. All right, so we'll put this box away here. All right, so this one came from BuyLighters.com, and the price is $21.99. And they have free shipping on all their Zippos. Very cool. Obviously still brand new. Um, these, all the newer ones that are, are coated, have any kind of finish on it that's, that's a coated finish. They do a canning on the bottom, which is basically the indentation of the bottom. But what's really nice is that on the older Zippos, they put the finish across the entire bottom as well. And it's very, very hard to see what, uh, what the markings are. Of course, a lot of Zippo people want to see their dates. They want to be able to collect them you know certain years certain months stuff like that um, and of course many many years from now you want to be able to see what they are so it's just a really nice addition that all the newer ones and they've been doing this for for years now but they they put a coating on or you know they block it off while they do the coating so that the bottom is exposed it's the exposed brass which is what all the zippos are made of unless otherwise noted all right so there's all our markings it's very clear and visible to see and that coating does not uh, cover that in any way um, this one is a, uh, a very matte finish. Um, there's no glare or gloss. You can see, I mean, I got pretty good sunlight coming in right now. And it does not reflect at all. It's a very matte finish on here. The pattern is random. Every Zippo will be different. It's a different pattern. I mean, it's the same type of pattern, but it's, each one's, you know, unique and individual. All right, so if you get a real tree one, it's not going to look exactly like this. What I did notice is that on the front part here, you can almost see this line that comes across and that's the actual image when they wrapped it around whatever the process is to put this on here that's where the image ended all right not a big deal still camo but that is where like literally you know the image stopped and then the other part started again but uh very very cool obviously not something you want to take out in the woods <laughs> i mean you want to drop this in the woods so if you're carrying a zippo um out and about, you know, especially if you're taking hikes or something like that, you want to make sure that you're going to have something that's uh, more of like a neon color. I would definitely go with a bright yellow. They make some really cool ones and uh, some really bright colors. Just the standard matte ones as well. Um, even a, you know, a simple um, chrome finish Zippo might be hard to find in the woods. So I'd stick with a, you know, a very, very bright color. The bright yellow, bright red, things like that. But this one's really cool. Of course, any kind of hunters, you may like it just because it's camo. There's no... No shame in that. You can get stuff just because you like it. But obviously it will be very hard if dropped in the woods. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And I will see you soon. Take care.